Hey buddy, it's Two Four Newster, and this is too many tutorials stuck into one. I call them many because uh, they're kind of simple. You have to do some fiddling, but other than that, it's pretty much really good. We're gonna do part one is basically enemy AI. If it sees you, then it's going to go after you, and then if it loses its sight, it's going to kind of loop around. It's kind of hard to say how I wrote this. Um, it's basically going to kind of go the long way around, back to its position, and if it sees you, it's going to go after you again. Um, and then we have part two, which is basically the save box. Part two of this episode will basically be a more advanced version of the AI uh, dealing with our space uh, game. And then the black dot is dealing with a save and load function. And then in our um, space game with our top down shooter, I'm going to have three save slots. So you save the one, save the two, or save the three. And then uh, we're going to be dealing with health. So in the second part, I will be adding a health max cap so you can't go beyond 100%. So this is what should happen. So let's see. This guy hasn't seen us yet. And now he does see us. And then I just collided with that. So we now have a save function. And if we were going to die, then it, what would we do is then save. I'm now trying to figure out where this guy is. I'm still trying to work on his AI. It's not a whole lot of code, which is probably why he's... Yeah, he's left the box, and we can't leave the box. But I can show you um, what happens when you click... I set it to where you tap 1, you instantly go back. Yeah. Voila. Okay, so I'm going to set it to where he cannot leave the box either. Behaviors. Found the box. Okay. Now I'm still trying to find it to where when he's not within so much distance he cannot go after you. See we're bound the box. I'm trying to make it to where he's bound the box. Basically he it's set up to where it's kind of like an else uh, system. If he cannot find you, then he just basically wanders about. Or just stops. It's not a perfect AI system. Um, if, you go, if you go out of the range or if you go and I set up these blue rectangles to be um, objects that he cannot see, or objects that he, you know, he cannot. He's stuck. Let's draw him out. It's like a little magnet. He can you see me? And this is set to turret. I use the turret function for this. Okay, I'm going to use another save function. So we're going to go on top. We collided with it. I'm going to go way over to the other side of the map. And I'm going to click one. And now we're saved. So now let's get to the code. I set it up in two different ways. There's a When you um, load this up, you're going to see a save load box. So the top part is all enemy AI and the bottom part is just two lines of code for the um, save and load function. So let's get to the enemy AI. So what I have in this is a black box, a yellow box, two blue boxes, and a green box. The player is the yellow box. His behavior is a direction, scroll to, bound the layout. Enemy, the enemy is turret custom movement, line of sight, bound to layout. On start of layout, 
enemy green box or sprite 3 I'm gonna say green box I'm gonna label them all by their color on start of layout green box is set to turret range of 400 which means he can see stuff that's medium range to him if they come uh, close to him then um, it's going to basically he's going to basically rotate toward it um, on start of layout add turret target yellow box now what you can also do is set if it's set with a range of 400 set that to the enemy but then if you have allies or another item then it gets kind of complicated and we're here for the simple before we get to the complicated so on start of layout uh, green box set turret range to 400 on start of layout add target yellow box uh, green box turret has target so we, we know we know that okay green box is set to to the turret function and if he has a target and the target that we know from the previous function is the yellow box okay if the um, it's set to rotate if it's in range of 400 so it's always going back to the first one so if it's in 400 range of pixels then he's going to rotate toward it. It's enabled. Otherwise, it's not enabled. Uh, turret has target. Uh, then he will go to 100 pixels of speed toward the enemy or toward the player. And the player is the yellow box. Also, has line of sight. So what we want to do is say, okay, it has line of sight of obstacle blue and I'm still working on this because as you see it goes through um or she has line of sight of uh yellow of player excuse me um I'm still working on the whole line of obstacle to where and this is when we enable pathfinding I have not enabled pathfinding yet this is the introduction so when we do pathfinding he will find a way around the wall um sprite to the player but what you want is turret has target and has line of sprite 2 or the yellow box on start of layout which you can also put up here but I didn't uh, on start of layout the box is solid the blue box is set solid and yellow and um, uh, on the enemy player has a line of sight of 180 so he can only see what's in front of him not what's behind him so in the sense you can sneak around him uh, now we're gonna do save and load so player or yellow box on collision with black box system save to slot now this is automatic it's automatically gonna say my, my save you can also say my save one okay so when you kind of click up a pop-up menu, like you click the escape, you click on a font text saying save, it clicks up another little box saying save one, two, three, four. And, you know, you can say, okay, my save one, my save two, my save three, and we will be doing that, don't worry. But this is one save box. So the uh, player on collision with black box, uh, that save is now onto my save. And on keyboard, press 1, system load game from slot, my save. So now we get this. So I'm going to go toward the enemy. We've entered into his range. He's going to head toward us. And now, boom. Now we're going to move away. We're going to go back to our position up here. I'm going to hit 1. There we go. So this is pretty simple, it's not too advanced, it's going to get pretty advanced when we finish it. Uh, this guy's going to be able to stop when he doesn't see you, or he's going to be able to basically move around solid objects. As I've said it's solid, I just don't know why he's going through it. He shouldn't be able to though. Um, but 
yeah, when we finish this, he's not going to be able to go through solid objects, but he's able going to he's going to be able to find a way around them to the player. The player's going to have um, I'm going to replace this save box with a you know you, you uh, tap uh, I'd say you tap the keys one two three and then you save and you load and actually I should be able to do that really quick. So basically, actually what you could do is instead of saying on collision with sprite 4 you can say on keyboard um, on key pressed 1 ok done save game to slot my save on keyboard pressed uh, and this is when you actually need to have a load and save box on pressed 2 okay load my save and on on key pressed 3 okay we're going to actually just copy that on key pressed f 5 4 done load but actually we're gonna say on this part okay so that's save that's load that's save that's load we have my save my save now we're gonna say my save one done and we're gonna load from my save two done uh, actually sorry yeah one so we have the original so we have a load save load save Actually, excuse me. Save, load, save, load. Uh, my save, my save, my save one, my save one. So on run out, uh, run. We're gonna ha we're gonna save it here, and then I'm going to move over here next to black box. I'm gonna hit three. Now I'm gonna hit two, and then I'm gonna hit four. Okay, guys. So on um, one, we're gonna save. And then on three, we're going to save. So I'm going to hit two, and that should revert us back to a, that spot. And then we hit four. That's our save spot. Um, so hopefully, guys, you understood that. I'm actually going to rewrite the original collide with something save so you can see it both ways. But here's our. Um, I would actually put up a save box like. Uh, like you hit a key or something like that. Like you have, um, I don't know, a ghost, uh, a, a UI element, or you hit the escape key or something like that, and it pops up a. Uh, it pauses the game. It sets the game speed or whatever to zero, so it pauses it. It pauses it in a sense, and then you have a box with the save and load function. And if you hit save, it pops up another box with save one, two, three, four. And when you and then you click save one, and then say you die and you want to go back into the game, you hit the escape key. You hit you go to load and then you load. Um, you know my save one or my save two or my save three or my save four. Okay, guys. So um, hope that helped out. That was a little bit more than what I was going to do. I was going to do some more testing to make sure that worked, but it it does. Um, and hopefully it helped you guys out. So um, expect more tutorials this week. Um, and then we'll finish up our Android game and work, start working on another game. So see you later, guys. Bye.